Frank Bailey used to be part of Sarah Palin's inner circle when she was Alaska's governor. But after a falling out, Palin's former aide has now written a tell-all book. In Blind Allegiance, Bailey paints Palin as vindictive, unable to take criticism, and eager to bail on her job as governor when better offers came along. In 2009, I had the sense that if she made it to the White House and I had stayed silent, I could never forgive myself. Bailey also claims that he and others in the inner circle did Palin's political bidding. In an affair called Troopergate, Bailey was caught on tape pressuring an official to fire a state trooper who was going through a bitter divorce from Palin's sister. After the recording was made public, Palin denounced his tactics. But Bailey claims Palin knew what he did, and it was done at her husband Todd's urging. Sarah knew. We had talked on the phone the night before, and I had told her, I said, you know, I realize this is going to have to come out, but I don't know how I'm going to do it without implicating Todd. Bailey was suspended for five weeks after the incident and says he was banished from the inner circle. She loves to be the victim. She, you know, we had a, a span of, of six days of media cycle talking about a crass comment by David Letterman about Willow. Um, where there was important state business going on, you know, at that time. And it, and it was one statement after another, after another, and just anything to keep this victimization of Sarah Palin alive because it fired up the base. Bailey says he wrote this book not only to show the world what he considers the real Palin, but also to serve as a warning to others who might blindly follow her. If there's a response that I would love for Palin to have to this book, I would love for her to read it and own the things that she too is not proud of, just like I have. Um, but Palin is very ambitious and it will not surprise me at all to see her um, fight and uh, try to protect herself. The Palin camp did not respond to requests to be interviewed for this story. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.